There you go. Well, that's Sunday morning for you. Nice bell ringing. I'll have to get a uh, programming box for the ESC because in this mode you have to let it rev for 15 seconds to set the governor up which is a waste of bloody time I'll have to get a programming box and change it to the store mode otherwise you wasted a bit of your flight already oh there's time going there so you know how far you've uh, had to do <laughs> Well, hopefully that's alright then, I'll have the A Maiden. <laughs> Being particularly careful with this due to the uh, first few flights and... Uh, <laughs> And you don't get many. Oh, yeah, there's bells now. <laughs> I don't know what's going on at the church this morning, but they're getting the. There's some right good church bell ringing there. I'll have to turn the throttle back up now, I did. Oh dear, 60% is barely enough for that now. The other day it was like a rocket on 60%. All I've done is change the ESC, so it must, it must come out different on a different ESC. <laughs> Because I turned it down because I thought, Christ. <laughs> and uh, it ain't enough now. That's barely enough. That's strange, isn't it? Anyway, there you go. Oi. So this is my Blade 500X, which I've had quite a while. and You can't get parts for them, so I had it sat on the shelf for ages. And then I see one for sale, a 3D one. Had the blades and that on it, so oh, I bought that. It's got a nice set of blades, and it had a nice straight feathering shaft, which I needed as well. So uh, then, blow me like a week later, there was another one for sale, an X on Midlands. I bought that and all, so I've got some spares. <laughs> but uh, then I changed the tail for a Trex 500 tail because. Because there's a plastic tail grip thing, the bit that connects the grip to the slider, that just broke straight away before it even floated. It just went to take off, it all fell apart. So I didn't trust the spare ones either. They had a bit of a crack in them, so you can't get them. Fortunately, I managed to make a Trex 500 one fix, uh, fit with a bit of adjustment. And I still managed to put the uh, Blade 500X uh, tail shaft in. So it's all right, hopefully. I've done that now. That's all a bit delicate. Then I put a backup guard on it. Then I put a new ESC on it. Then I forgot to lock tight the tail servo. And that nearly crashed on the flight the other day, just hovering. They all the nuts rattled off it. After checking it and checking it, I must have checked everything else three times, make sure everything was locked tight. And somehow I didn't check the bloody servo. So it only got little M2 nuts on it, not not the nylon ones, and they just rattled off in like 30 seconds of hovering, and then it, it started spinning around. I thought, oh no, fortunately, it's, it was alright, and I fixed it. Put, I put some nylon nuts on it and locked tight, so hopefully they're alright now. Trouble is, I'm all nervous about flying it now. That's the trouble, isn't it? It's all well and good. Now you're being all careful. Well, I like my little Trex 450, I like a fly of that and you really don't care, you know, you just throw it around all over the place. It's fine. A nice little cheap. I wouldn't mind if you could get parts for it, like your, your other Trexes and that, you can get parts for. Still, never mind, it's pretty good. Nice morning, isn't it? Look. Perfect Sunday morning. Nice, well there it is. Your Trex 500. I think it's all right. Right, all right. 
he says. Other than the nervy flying. Nothing too drastic, eh? It's got the AR-72 that come on it, the Spectrum one. I left that on it. Don't forget these are quite an old helicopter, over 10 years old these are. Ah, I have to say so far, so good. Oh, <laughs> easy. This is going to have to be a take it a careful flight with it. Well, I was just happy to come and get it flying, it flying after all this time. I've spent, <laughs> by the time I bought all them other helicopters, I've spent right load of money on it. I bought, I've spent sort of Saab 420 raw money on it. <laughs> Never mind, I like it. So far, as long as you keep it maintained, I think it'll be alright. And don't overfly it. I've gone past my, my, my battery limit now. I better land. Yeah, I'll take it. I like it. I have to check that, that main shaft at some point because it's all rattling about a bit, wobbling a bit there. I don't think I ever actually tested it to make sure it was totally straight. It looked right when you span the thing around there. The swash plate wasn't all bounding. Sort of span that. That didn't all move in and out, but I never actually took it out. I should have laid it on the glass when I had it out. But there you go. There's your uh, Trex 500. Oh, there go the church bells again. There's the church over there. You can hear it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can see it just through there. There's a windmill, but you can't quite see that through the trees. You just see the blades. And there's a nice mist over there this morning, look. So there you go. Good morning. Lovely job.